Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm just going to do a really short simple set of acrylic nails using tips um, just so that I could throw some content out. So I'm going in with my cuticle bitch pretending to do some cuticle work. Obviously this is a silicone hand and then I'm just taking a sunband and etching over the surface of the plastic tip that is stuck in the silicone hand. You don't have to do this when you're using acrylic because acrylic will stick to anything. But today, instead of sculpting, I'm gonna just stick on some tips. Now, you know I don't really use tips, but I just find it easier on the hand just to stick a tip on rather than try and fit a sculpting form, especially when I just wanted to do something really simple. So I just sized up the tips, fitted them, glued them onto the nail and then trimmed them down. And what I'm doing is applying my clear base before I shape them because sometimes I've found on the hand that if you start filing, sometimes the tip can flip off. So I just apply a clear base as I would anyway. And then what I'll do when that, dry, when that dries is just go ahead and shape up the nails to a rough kind of shape that I want my finished look to be. So I'm using crystal glass and I'm using the big boy and just putting a really, really thin layer on to that nail plate. Super quick, super easy. Place the bead, tap it, swipe it. Job's a good one. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna file them into shape. So I'm just taking my hand file, putting it straight up the sides, bringing them in, tapering them in a little bit more because just they kind of flared out a little bit wide. So I just pop my file underneath and then clean up and then straighten the file so that we can get that nice tapered square. And then I will just gently buff over that um, clear base as well, just to make sure it's all nice and smooth. So the set itself is really simple. I'm just doing the one bead method with Robin's Egg from CJP, which is this stunning, shimmery, aqua blue color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, and I'm just gonna do that on all of the nails. So I'll just let you watch really, because there's not really much I can add. I place my bead on. I kind of push it so my apex is still there. Don't, you just not have to have a massive apex when nails are really short but I just still want the structure so I don't have to go in adding multiple beads. So then I'll just go from side to side, patting it in at the sides to bring my side walls in, making sure I've got it nice and neatly tucked around the cuticle, and then just pat it into place and take off any excess off the tip of the nail. So I just pressed the nail on the other finger there, so I was just sorting that out.
So we're going to go ahead and file the nails now they're all dry. So we're just taking that file, doing flat, straight against the sides on the free edge. And then we'll just go up around the cuticle area, around and down the other side to really taper it all in nicely and get it looking nice and crisp and perfect. So I'm now going in with CJP Top Shine. I'm going to top coat all the nails and cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. And when the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to go ahead and apply some flakes. These flakes are just from eBay. Um, and I'm just going to rub them into that cured top coat. Then we're going to top coat again just to seal them in. So then I've decided to just go ahead and do some 3D work on the ring finger. So I'm just doing like some little petals coming out from the cuticle area. And then I'm going to use a little blob of that coconut milk to secure a nice pretty blue Swarovski crystal just at that cuticle area. And then when that's done, that is the set finished. And I will apply some cuticle oil just because why the hell not? <laughs> um, I hope you're all keeping safe and well and I will see you all again in my next video. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. I love you all and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.